Hi everybody, how's everybody doing? This is Cherie, welcome to my channel. Uh, we're doing our uh, March devotional out of the 365 Days of Kindness devotional. And uh, today's is on family fun. And let's see what it has to say about that. This is going to be a good one. In Exodus 15, 20, this is out of the ESV. It says, Then Miriam, the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women went out after her with tambourines and dancing. Your family is usually the safest place to be yourself. You can wear whatever you want, cry whenever you want, and be silly without worrying about their judgment. The scene this scripture depicts is one of joy and togetherness. Celebrating with family can mean a whole lot of laughter, and this is how God intended us to be toward one another. We are created to love deeply and laugh loudly, and if you are not surrounded by your family because you are living in a different state, or even country, or because things are unfortunately dysfunctional, Find some close friends who can become like family. Thank God for the gift of close friends. And the act of kindness is send a phone card to a close friend or a family member. And I love my family. As a matter of fact, it's talking about family fun. This weekend, uh, I've got planned a big family uh, get-together at a restaurant, kind of close to everybody. And um, a lot of my family will be there. And um, we always have fun. It's my dad's side of the family. And uh, we always laugh and cut up and carry on. I mean, we kind of get loud. Even at funeral homes, sometimes we get loud at funeral homes. We don't mean to. We just do. So, me and my cousin, one of my cousins, we always get in trouble at the funeral home. My dad will call us down sometimes because we giggle a little too loud. We don't mean to. It's just stuff's funny sometimes. I mean, we don't mean no disrespect or nothing, but it's just kind of what we do. And everybody understands it because we're all the same way. But um, anyway, we do have a lot of fun and we laugh a lot. And we laugh loud and hard. And we just have a good old time. So I cannot wait until Saturday when we all get together because we will have a great time. And that says, this is how God intended us to be toward one another. We need to laugh. Don't be afraid to laugh. Don't be afraid to hee-haw from the tip of your toes. There is nothing wrong with that. I'm sure Jesus laughed. He, I'm sure he did with his brothers, his friends. I mean, we read stories in the Bible, but there was times, you know, not every second of every day was written in the Bible. I'm sure he interacted with his brothers, played pranks with his brothers. He was in our form, so you know he had to be like us. No one would have paid any attention to him had he not been relatable to everyone. So don't be afraid to have fun. And like it says on here, if you're not near your family, that's okay. I'm sure you have close friends. Um, you know, they're like family. So <clears throat> anyway, um, make sure that you do that, that you are involved in your family and that you get together when you can. And these days we've got um, messenger video and all kinds of stuff where you can see each other and talk to each other live, you know, and that's great too. As a matter of fact, I might try that if I don't forget this time to call up some of my family that, our family that's not here and maybe pass the phone around or whatever and let everybody talk. Or I might try to film some of us a message to them and send it to them later if I don't forget. <laughs> but um, anyway, it's hard having family away from here. And as everyone gets older, we can't always travel back and forth like we used to. So, you know, there's sometimes you just know you're probably never gonna see them again. And it's sad, but we can still talk on the phone and like I said, video chat. You know, it's okay. Uh, God's just blessed us with each other and we just need to go with that. Now, um, this Bible, uh, I had uh, several of you all ask me about this Bible. Now, I put these two stickers on it. If you're trying to find it, as you can see, that's a sticker. Where am I at? That's a sticker, and that's a sticker. The Bible comes without these two. It's a cross, and it says, Help Finder Bible. Okay. And um, I've heard uh, a couple of you all have let me know that you have ordered this Bible. And I'm so glad because it is a great Bible. Uh, I was going to try to show you the ISBN numbers. 
I didn't know everybody would be so interested in it, or I would have showed you that last night. But I've had this for a little while. But those are two of the, uh, two. <laughs> those are four of the ISBN numbers. I've got the paperback. But it also comes in hardcover, leather like pink and leather like black. And it is a great Bible. All these study helps are really, really good. I was going to, I've got marked here. I was going to go over this for just a second. I was going to read on here about family. So, okay, I had to get my book situated. Is a family mer merely a group of relatives or is it something more? Families were God's unique idea from the beginning. There's no greater institution, no better group of people to affect positive change in the world than the family. There is no better place to learn the essential principles of life than in the family, and nowhere can the truths of God's word be more effectively taught and modeled. Conversely, there is no institution, no group of people with more power and ability to destroy a person than a family. Physical and verbal abuse, as well as neglect, can damage the emotional well-being of a child well into adulthood, and often for a lifetime. The failure of parents to teach spiritual truths to their children directly impacts their relationship with God and how they treat others. Family is the environment that shapes a child's lifetime uh, direction. And on here it has, uh, it has different verses here and things about family. And uh, the Bible talks about both an earthly family made up of a husband, a wife, and sometimes children. Let me get you lined up here. And the family of God, which is all believers united together by the bond of faith. It also says the Bible lists several genealogies, all recorded by family units, showing the family as central and fundamental to the development of people and of nations. Nowhere can truth be more effectively taught and modeled than in the family. And the family is one of God's greatest resources for communicating. Let me find you here. I'm sorry. I'm trying to show this to you and read it to you off of the book. Okay. The family is one of God's greatest resources for communicating truth and effecting change in any community. This change is directly related to the family's spiritual commitment and seal. And children are a wonderful blessing. That's true. And for a variety of reasons, you may not be part of the same legal family throughout your lifetime. Having the same spouse, siblings, etc. Whatever family you find yourself in, your responsibility is to love them with all your heart and model the ways of God. The kind of legacy will yield beautiful fruit for generations and there's some of the things on that you want to pause that and here's some more I'm not going to read all this today but uh, it all doesn't really apply to everything we talked about but since I'm on the family and you might be curious there's that Okay. And I think it has some over here. Yes. Let's see if I can get this lined up here. Now, these videos are not as easy as you think they are. And just because you see one video doesn't mean I've not done this like four or five times before I get to the one that I can post. So I'm just letting you know. No, I'm not a professional, but I do try. <laughs> But I've told you from the beginning, you get what you get with me. And that's just how it is. I don't edit. I don't do a whole lot of stuff on here. Uh, what you see is what you get because that's how I am. And that's what you'd see if you were sitting here with me. So, um, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, but I hope you liked this video and got something from it. But remember your family. And remember to um, get in touch with your family. Send them a note, a card, a phone call, text message, whatever you want to do. Video chat. Uh, I've called a couple of people in my family that I hadn't talked to in a while this week, actually. And uh, <clears throat> that was really nice. So just take time out of your day and get that done, and you'll be glad you did. So remember to live, love, laugh, and laugh some more because laughter's the best medicine. 
And we'll hopefully, Lord's will, be back here real soon, hopefully tomorrow, to bring you another devotional. We've only got a few left. We've got, um, let's see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and that's it. Monday is April 1st. So, anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed these. I've enjoyed your comments and your encouragement. I really appreciate your thumbs up. That encourages me. Uh, your comments extra, extra encourages me. So, um, just like, subscribe if you're not already, and I will be back here real soon. You have a great day. Bye-bye.